we also realized that most people have a very short tolerance for talking about their finances. Richard and I are unique in that we can kind of talk about finances for hours and end. This is Wealth Smarts, where you will gain the financial capabilities and confidence to achieve the goals that matter to you. Now, here are your hosts, Matt and Richard. We have an announcement. We're back. And for <laughs> those of you who might not even have noticed that we were gone, thank you. <laughs> but basically what happened, we're going to just talk about kind of where the podcast is going, what happened, why did we take a break, and just have a conversation about the future of this podcast. So, Richard, it's 2024. We're relaunching mm-hmm. the podcast. We're relaunching our Wealth Smarts to provide more value to our clients and what we're going to identify as wealth builders later on in this episode. What happened? Why did we take a break? It's been one heck of a year. 2023 was amazing. We decided to take a number of significant steps in order to improve our capacity to help clients to plan, build, and secure their wealth and their financial freedom. The first thing that happened was in 2023, we focused a lot on changing many systems. Okay, so the one system that we decided to change was a client relationship management system. And it sounds like a little thing, like a piece of technology, but it's fundamentally core to being on top of where clients are at and understanding their situation. So we changed our client relationship management system. That was a major overhaul. Another change that happened that we were looking forward to wasn't one that we actually changed, but our investment dealer, Lion Capital Partners, changed, and that was their back office system. Their, their, their custodian for client investments changed. And that created a lot of activity because no systems changes without hiccups. So we've been through that. It generated a lot of activity, making sure that Everything was good with our clients and everything certainly was, but it was, it was intense. Layered on top of that system, I mean, the other thing was our financial planning system. Like we focused and really dug into our financial planning system, Conquest Systems. And that has allowed us to be far more effective in being goal focused for our clients. And we've enjoyed that experience. Our newsletter platform for delivering information to clients, so we changed that up as well as a number of other smaller systems. So it's been a year of systems change. And in addition to that, we actually bought another advisor's financial advisory business. And that meant meeting a lot of new clients over the past half year and getting acquainted and getting onto a course to to improving their experience with their portfolios and with their financial planning experience. And so that was busy. So it, knowing that that would create a lot of need for support, we made the decision to hire a full-time financial, full-time associate advisor to help our clients. And the whole, her name is Mandy. She's a delightful person. You're all going to get a chance to talk to her real soon. And the nice thing about that is, is it allows Matthew and I to focus a lot more time on helping our clients to plan, build, and secure their financial freedom. So it's been a year of change. There's been a little bit of disruption along the way. It has meant that we have not had the bandwidth to produce this podcast for the past six months or so, and also to not produce our weekly Wealth Smarts uh, newsletter, but we're back, right, Matt? Well said. Yeah, it was it was a lot, but it's all good. We have we have a lot n- more capabilities going forward. And one thing that Richard and I are really excited about is we have more bandwidth to create more valuable content and to be meeting with our clients on a more regular basis and deliver more value to them. So where are we going with this podcast? That's a great question. It's something that we've talked about a lot. Our podcast is meant to, first and foremost, provide value to our clients. We, we know that a large part of financial literacy and financial education comes down to teaching. And at the core of our business is that education piece. 
So Richard started off the business by doing a lot of uh, seminars about in at the Richmond Public Library, right? Wow. Yeah, that was quite a time. That was during the mid-1990s to about 2000. We did the financial strategies for a successful retirement workshop through, through Richmond Public Library at the Richmond Cultural Center. And we met a lot of people. We met a lot of great people along the way. It was a great experience. And then again, we rebooted that effort in the next decade, around 2006 onwards to 2010, 2011 or so. We created the Wealth Smart Workshop. And again, we met a lot of great people along the way. And it, it, we're, met, we're on fire when we help people and educate people in their financial affairs and how they can get to their goals a lot more effectively. Mm-hmm. So what's not changing with this podcast is it is it's still an educational wealth building podcast for our clients to reach their financial freedoms, right? That is the core focus of this podcast it is a support for our clients in their journey towards financial financial freedom. But on the other end, it's also many of our clients we we have identified as what we call wealth builders, right? Richard, what does the wealth builder look like? Can you paint a picture of that for our audience? Oh boy. Can I first paint a picture of what the wealth builder is not? That's a great idea. Okay. Because, you know, for anybody that kind of fits this profile, they may not be interested in what we have to say. So the wealth builder is not about maximizing my enjoyment of every dollar that's coming in today living for the day, not caring for tomorrow, not being disciplined. And the wealth builder doesn't like to be restricted to a financial plan. And I would argue that a financial plan doesn't actually restrict you. A financial plan provides guideposts and and it, it, it provides rails that we can run on towards achieving a financial objective. It provides financial freedom. The lack of a financial plan means we are left to just react to everything. And there's a lot of folks that just don't like the idea of, of, of a disciplined financial plan. And if that's the way you want to go, then that's just the way it is. So that's that's not a wealth builder. A wealth builder is also, the, the, the opposite of a wealth builder, likes to take a look at their wealth and say, you know what, it'll live for today. And kids are on their own. They're, they're good, okay? And I want my last check when I die to bounce and leave basically nothing. I just want to spend it all while I'm living. That's not a wealth builder. Wealth mm-hmm. builders to us are all about honor, honoring what has been given to them by the generation before and desiring to make that better, not just in terms of giving money, but in terms of passing on values and mindsets that are useful and that can contribute to a greater long-term good to the next generation. It's all about intergenerational transfer of wealth. And wealth isn't just money. Wealth is your value. Wealth Mm -hmm. is what you value most. And if you have financial assets that are a part of that, those financial assets are simply the currency of of the value that you've brought and the value that you've built in this world. And it's something that we want to see continue. Everybody wants to leave a legacy. Yeah. And wealth builders are all about building a legacy today and passing that on to future generations. Well said. So again, this podcast going forward is going to be for our clients and wealth builders. Correct. Just to, just to make it clear what we're going to be talking about. We you may... Bet repel some people and we know. So with that being said, at this time, we're going to be resuming our podcast through, we're going to have different seasons. And again, the content will be tailored to kind of a flow of how we think the year goes in finances. But again, we are, we are very keen on addressing questions of our clients and concerns of our clients. So if there's questions that come up regularly, we will have a podcast on them. So feel free to comment on topics that you'd love to see us talk about, and we will tailor some of the content to the, towards that. But also, we're just really excited to be back mm. and to be talking 
about this stuff. We've also we we also realized that most people have a very short tolerance for talking about their finances. Richard and I are unique in that we can kind of talk about finances for hours on an end all but day long. There's, yet. <laughs> but there's a reason that we've reduced kind of our meeting time with clients to like 45 minutes ish is because we see we can physically see on zoom when they lose interest and I, that's no fault of anyone i completely agree that not everyone has the same capacity to talk about their finances just like there's many things that i would lose interest in very quickly probably quicker than 45 minutes so with that being said that the episodes are going to be a little shorter in nature hopefully under 30 minutes there will be the odd one that will go longer but that's just kind of what to expect now yeah. in terms of keeping up to date on the podcast we are relaunching our wealth smarts weekly newsletter which will be again weekly but i'll have links to the podcast links to other resources we feel that this cadence is really important to build your financial education week by week on a consistent basis just so it's not so overwhelming now, in the newsletter, what you'll notice is that we will have topics in it. So we'll cover a vast range of topics because fin- there's so many topics to cover. But it will tell you which topic we're directly talking about. And you can then see if it's relevant to you or not. Also, if we become annoying in the newsletter, you can unsubscribe. Yeah, but you know, I think it's important to emphasize the need to subscribe to this. Because you know we have a lot of different emails in our database. And we don't just willy nilly go and send wealth smarts out to everybody because we know we're going to annoy some people. I think the whole idea of permission based subscription is a really good idea. In order to get wealth smarts, you really have to subscribe to it. There's going to be periodic little snippets that we might send out to clients, but sometimes, you know, we've, we've had a client say, well, I, I never heard that from you. I said, because you're not subscribed to wealth smarts. And so I think it's really important to go to the subscription link in the footnotes, in the, in the show notes in this podcast, to the subscribe to Wealth Smarts link and get that going. Because if, if you ever find it annoying in the future, you can also always unsubscribe. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's in order to keep in compliance with um, Canadian anti-spam legislation, et cetera. You really need to subscribe to that. Matt, Matt, would it be useful if we kind of gave people a teaser for the next year of some of the things they might be, we might be addressing in, in, in this podcast? I think that'd be useful. Did you want me to go ahead and do that? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So in January, you know, we're talking all about goal setting and budgeting. You know, that's going to, that's kind of one of the key things we want to address here. February is going to revolve around tax planning. March is going to be about debt management, getting debt under control, structuring it properly. April is all about retirement planning. You know, your retirement plan, looking at, of course, tax filing deadline, making sure you're ready for that. May is all going to be about making sure that everything's okay, no matter what. In other words, a logical approach to insurance. And uh, June is going to be our mid-year financial checkup, where we evaluate progress towards goals and adjust budget and savings plans if necessary. July is all about summer savings, uh, looking for ways to save because we tend to spend a little bit in the summer. And we need to somehow find intelligent ways on saving and yet at the same time enjoying our travel and vacation experiences during that time. August is all about looking at the upcoming uh, school year for those that have kids still in school and we're anticipating the costs of post-secondary education. So we're going to talk about education funding, registered education, savings plans, things like that. September is all about emergency planning and estate plan and making sure that that's in in place and updated. October, investment review. It will have an investment theme to October. November is all about year-end planning. There might be various things that we talk about like tax loss selling and charitable gifting strategies, et cetera, is gonna flow into December. And that kind of rounds up the year. We'll find opportunities in between to deal with topical things that might pop up things that might be current that people might want some information on. But it looks like it's going to be a, an exciting year of the podcast. We're going to be a lot more focused, and we certainly look forward to feedback as we go through that. Great. To stay up to date with the podcast, again, subscribe to the Wealth Smarts podcast. It'll be linked in the show notes. You can also find this podcast on Spotify. 
So follow the podcast, share the podcast, all that stuff. We really appreciate it. But what we appreciate even more is we would love your input on some topics that you would love, you'd like to hear us talk about. Wonderful. Looking Thank forward you. to this year of content. It's going to be a good one. Thanks, Matt. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Wealth Smarts. Wealth Smarts is a joint production between Wealth Smart Incorporated and Lions Den Media. Be sure to check the show notes on our website for more information and resources. If you enjoyed this episode or found it valuable, consider joining the Wealth Smarts community by subscribing and leaving us a review. Your support helps us make more valuable content and reach more listeners like you. See you in two weeks.